Hi everybody, today we have eight of the best and my most favorite Easter eggs in Saints Row 2. The last great Saints Row game in my opinion. This is before Saints Row just went out and did their own thing and went completely bonkers and haywire with, with everything they were doing in the Saints Row series. But Saints Row 2 is always going to hold a special place in my heart. In late 2008, early 2009, I dedicated a lot of time to this game. Because I was taking a break from Grand Theft Auto 4, which I had been playing most of 2008. And within Saints Row 2, is just tons of amazing secrets, Easter eggs, and fun things to do. And really, I haven't played Saints Row 2 since around 2011. So, I just chose 8 of the Easter eggs that I did remember from way back in the day. And I wanted to show them off to y'all. Let me know down below in the comments, what Saints Row game is your favorite have you actually ever even played a saints row game i'm going to read through all of those but with that said let's go ahead and get started with the saints row 2 easter eggs number eight oops i farted again yeah i said that right so if we actually go into the scratch that music store well, we can see a jukebox inside, and we can take a look at the playlist and the track list and what's going on here. And in the top left corner, there's a blonde girl with the words, Oops, I farted again. And this is an obvious parody of Britney Spears and her most famous song, or one of her very popular songs at least, Oops, I Did It Again. And obviously, the names correlate there, and also the blonde girl on the album cover. Number seven, a secret game developer studio. That's right. So outside of the mall, we can see a glassed in area above the bottom story or the bottom floor of this building. And there's three different ways to get in here. You can get in through the roof, you can get in through the ground, or you can just ramp your car up into the mall here. That's what I did because it's always fun to find these crazy stunt jumps. And once inside here, you're gonna find a super secret room that's actually a developer's room and an Easter egg referencing the developers of Saints Row 2 Volition. We see their logo on the wall, and there are tons of Easter eggs referencing Volition throughout Saints Row 2. But also inside here, we can see on the wall a picture of a man that says bang, bang, bang. There's three of them. They're the exact same. And I'm not too educated on who this man is, but my guess is he's probably a very high up developer for this game and overall it's just really cool to come across this secret room one of many scattered all throughout saints row 2 number six the jason Voorhees mask in a small little lake or small little radioactive pond we can actually find the mask of jason Voorhees. and what's pretty cool about this is that it's in a, an area or a scene very similar to one from the friday the 13th movies this small little lake with a, a little pier or a dock little building just a very creepy area and in the corner of this area next to a tree surrounded by some rocks we can actually find on the ground a hockey mask or the Jason Voorhees mask and uh, it's just creepy especially if you go here at night when it's foggy outside uh, thankfully it was not night when I went there but little things like this in games are always pretty cool but also kind of creepy at the same time Number five, an Easter egg referencing movie star Mike Myers. Now, don't get that confused with Michael Myers. We are talking about Mike Myers from Austin Powers, that guy. And, well, there's actually two different references to him in one area. So, there's a restaurant called the Fook Me, Fook You Restaurant. And this is actually an Easter egg referencing Austin Powers. And in the Austin Powers movies, there are two sisters. Their names are Fook Me and Fook You. And as we know in the Austin Power movies, Mike Myers is Austin Powers. He's the main character. He plays tons of characters in that movie alone or in that series alone. But also, if we go inside of the restaurant, we can choose on the menu an assortment of foods. And one of the last foods is Some Young Guy. And this is on the menu. It's the name of the food. And this is actually referring to Cream of Some Young Guy from Wayne's World, a movie that came out in 1992, whose main character is once again Mike Myers. So this is just a cool little reference to Mike Myers with these two little Easter eggs and his movies. Very subliminal, but it's the simple things like this that make for the best Easter eggs. Number four, a pirate skeleton. That's right. We can actually find the skeleton 
of a pirate just hanging out on the beach sunbathing with his hook, with his hat, and with his wooden leg. Now, this skeleton, I think, was trying to tell me something. I think he was trying to go into the hotel and get a room with me, the hotel that's right behind this beach, because, well, he kept putting his booty up in the air. He, he got too much booty, and it's rated R. I'm kidding with the bad jokes there. But this pirate just, he kept glitching out, and he kept laying on his face and literally putting his butt in the air. But nonetheless, skeletons, bodies, and things like that are honestly... In a very morbid way, one of my favorite things to come across within video games. Number three, we have another developer Easter egg, referencing some of the developers of Saints Row 2. Now, this one isn't a secret developer's building like we had at the beginning of this video, but we can actually find outside of a building eight different names with numbers underneath them that look like jerseys, and they are just posted up on the side of the building, and these are actually the last names of developers of Saints Row 2, which is pretty cool. It'd be pretty cool to develop a game and just have your name publicly on a wall, especially a game that was somewhat popular. And just to be like, hey guys, look, that's me right there. Just on this wall, that's my name. Number two, once again, we've got some more developer names. I told you guys that Volition loves to just throw in Easter eggs <laughs> referencing themselves, which you can't go wrong with. So if we go to the Morningwood Cemetery, everything about this cemetery has some crazy stuff going on with it. First off, the name Morning Wood. Underneath the cemetery is a is a pretty interesting secret tunnel full of dummies and dolls, which I can't say or else I will get demonetized. But also, in this cemetery are mausoleums. And outside of the mausoleums or on top of them are placards or just name tags. Once again, featuring the last names of developers of Saints Row 2. And number one, last but not least, we've got the best Easter egg in Saints Row 2. Hands down the best. You cannot argue this one. This is the bunny in the water. I know y'all were waiting for this one right here because it's most likely going to be the thumbnail that I haven't made yet. But the bunny in the water. And if we go out, take a boat into the ocean, well, we're going to find a bunch of different islands. And you have to follow them in this exact order, which I'm going to show after I quit talking and explaining this Easter egg. But you basically go to these islands in each order, and when you find them, an arrow, a wooden arrow sign is going to pop up, and it's going to point you in the direction of the next island. Once you go there, it's going to point you in the direction of the next island, the next one, until you get to the Easter egg. And you got to do these in order, and once you get there, a giant purple bunny rabbit is going to rise up out of the water. And right now, I'm actually going to show y'all how you can find this bunny Easter egg for yourself, in case you've never played Saints Row 2 and you want to check it out, or in case... Well, you want to play Saints Row 2 now and you forgot how to find the bunny. All right, well, hopefully y'all enjoyed these Saints Row 2 Easter eggs. This is my first Saints Row video on the channel, but I have had so much fun in previous years playing the Saints Row games. And like I said, Saints Row 2 is 
pretty much the last great Saints Row game, in my opinion. Saints Row 3 was pretty good, but the other ones after that, I just couldn't get into. The stories, to me, were as good as they used to be, but that's my own opinion. If y'all want to see more Saints Row or just more games on the channel, be sure to let me know down below in the comments. Let me know what your favorite Saints Row game is and Saints Row Easter egg. Going to read through all of those. And if y'all enjoy, well, hopefully I earn your thumbs up and your subscription. But with that said, I'm Zach Cox. Thank y'all for tuning in, and I hope to see you in the next video.